right, guys, this is my 1965 Mooney M20E. This is actually the second Mooney that I've owned. I owned a 1966 M20E as well, and then upgraded to this one. This one has a lower time motor, under 500 hours on the motor, really nice panel, and just all around in better condition than the 66 was. Moonies are known for being fast and efficient. This Mooney cruises at about 150 to 155 true, burning about 10 gallons an hour. If you run at Lena Peak, lose about five to ten knots and you can get it down to about eight gallons an hour it's an awesome cross-country machine i've taken the mooney to chicago a couple of times from south carolina and charleston i've also gone to florida a few times awesome cross-country machine really comfortable this particular mooney does not have an autopilot in it however at the end of this month we're getting a gfc 500 autopilot put in it which i'm really excited about after that this plane is going to be absolutely perfect the panel is really simple it's got dual g5s a couple of backup instruments, no vacuum system in this airplane, which is great, nothing to break. GTN 750, it's not the NXI, it's not the new one, but still a great unit. Simple audio panel below the GTN. The JPI EDM 900 engine monitor is maybe my favorite thing on this panel. Makes it really easy to maintain your engine, watch your CHTs, watch your EGTs. Um, anything goes wrong with the engine, you've got a little light on the panel that blinks at you to let you know something's going on. Um, makes it really easy to take great care of your engine. We have a KLX 135 Alpha underneath the JPI there. Uh, it is a GPS, but we don't use it for that. We just use it for the backup radio. A couple of USB ports over there on the right, and then a good CO detector. I'm a smaller guy. I'm only five foot six, uh, 145 pounds. My wife is only five foot tall, and we have small kids, so they fit perfectly back here in the Mooney. You hear a lot of people complain about leg space in the Mooney. But uh, this is a short body Mooney, so the Fs and further models have at least nine more inches of leg space back here. But this is with the seat all the way back. You never fly the Mooney with the seat this far back, unless you're extremely tall. Most guys will not do this. So let me show you what it looks like when you put the seat up where I actually fly it. There you go. That's where I fly the Mooney. So you can see there's tons of leg space back here. I have had four adults in here. We were all lightweight, but uh, they're taller. I'd probably say about six foot is the biggest person I've had in the back sit behind me. It's tight, but they fit. Let me give you a quick tour of the panel. All right, so from left to right, we have our master switch here, fuel pump, avionics master, autopilot master, got your pitot heat, beacon, nav light, and landing lights. Right here's our gear indication, so gear down and gear up. You can test that by pushing it. Make sure it works before you take off. All right, then we have our airspeed indicator. This is in miles per hour, so I use this for all my V speeds. And then you have your turn coordinator down here. Then you've got the dual G5 setup. Top one is your attitude indicator. Bottom one is your HSI. I've got the top one set up to read knots here, which is easier for flying IFR. And then to the right of the G5, we have our backup altimeter and our vertical speed indicator. And then to the right of that, we have the GTN 750 with the remote transponder built right in. Got your nav radios and your comm radios built in as well. Below that, Garmin audio panel, pretty simple. To the right of that, we have our EDM 900s, the JPI engine monitor, love this thing. And then our KLX 135A we use as our comm too. Old autopilot, which is in op right now, that's getting replaced soon. Got our CO indicator right here. Invest in a nice CO indicator. This is worth its weight in gold. And then coming across the bottom here, we have our parking brake, our cabin heat, and our cabin air. This is our power boost, and these are our cowl flaps down here. A lot of people ask what that power boost does. So what you do is you pull that lever, and then a flap opens up in the front of the plane. At full throttle and at cruise speed, it's a ram air input. So that flap opens up and bypasses the air filter and it rams air into the engine. So it's almost like a turbocharger, except you're using ram air to pressurize the air. And you can actually get uh, about another inch manifold pressure at altitude at full power. Something else unique about a Mooney is the manual landing gear system. So that's actually called a Johnson bar. It's all manual and all you do is you grab it unlock it and you shove it right down there into the ground it's a completely manual system no electronics no hydraulics the flaps on the mooney are also manual all you do is you push this button down here and you pump the flaps one two three and four is full flaps something else about the mooney that i like is that the controls are all push rods there's no cables no pulleys nothing like that and the yoke travel is extremely small that's full right 
and that's full left. If you've ever flown a Cessna, you know you can turn it almost 90 degrees or more um, to get full travel, but not in a Mooney. Full right, full left. Really sensitive, really easy to control. All right, the baggage compartment in the Mooney, actually pretty spacious. We've got some tools back here, first aid kit. That's actually a mountain survival kit. I don't always take that with me. And then we have a cover that we keep in there. If I'm going on a trip, I can keep all this in here and still fit two full-size suitcases. Something else that I like about the Mooney is that you access the luggage compartment through the top. A lot of airplanes have a door on the bottom, so you have to slide stuff in and it's hard to stack stuff on top. You have to go inside. With the Mooney, you can load everything from here and stack it all the way up to the ceiling as long as you don't exceed the weight limit. And then we have a hat rack with some odds and ends on there. I know you guys are gonna tell me that's not safe, but that's what we got. Something else pretty cool about the Mooney, most airplanes use trim tabs on the elevator to trim the airplane in flight. Mooney actually moves the entire tail section to trim the airplane. Check this out. As far as the power plant goes, it's got a lie combing IO360. I is for injected, O is for horizontally opposed. Uh, it's a four cylinder engine, puts out 200 horsepower. Super efficient, awesome engine, I love it. And of course that's coupled with a Hartzell constant speed prop. Most of the airplane has been upgraded to LED, so we have a watt LED landing light. And then the nav lights on either wing have also been upgraded, as well as the position lights. The only thing we need to still upgrade is the beacon. The paint's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. There's some chipping and some scratches here and there, and there's been some work done on it. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. Definitely not worth a $15,000 paint job right now. Another cool feature about this Mooney in particular, most Moonies are wet wings, which means that the wing itself is the fuel tank. Problem with that is that you have to seal them. If you have a hard landing, you can induce leaks, things like that. And to get them sealed is a very big job. It costs a lot of money. This Mooney actually has bladders in there. Probably not gonna be able to see it, but this is a bladder system. So no more wings leaking, no more sealing issues. Really nice. All right, another cool feature about the Mooney is the suspension system. It actually uses a series of rubber discs. There's no shock absorber, it's nothing like that. You're just landing and it compresses these discs and that's, uh, that's all you got. So not super forgiving if you're not uh, good spot on with your landings. All right, guys, and that wraps it up for the 1965 Mooney M20E. Love this airplane. Like I said, it's my second one. Love my first one so much. When I was ready to upgrade, I knew I was going right back into another Mooney. If I missed something about the airplane you guys want to know or you have any other questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it for you. And as always, if you guys like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Friends don't let friends buy Cherokees. <laughs>